ticks in Virginia are common. Many people have stories of hiking through the woods and finding one on their clothing or skin. But what's not as common is a red meat allergy that people can get after getting bitten by a tick. Depending your size, Eda Benanesh, she spoke with tick researchers at UVA and ODU about this allergy that could cause hives or even death. Research about this red meat allergy has really increased over the last 10 years or so. Researchers tell me it's a big problem in states like Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Missouri. They hide in woody, grassy areas, waiting to find their next meal. We're talking about ticks, and unfortunately for us, humans can often become the host for these biting bloodsuckers. Tick bites are nothing new, but since about 2008, researchers have been studying a red meat allergy that comes from a Lone Star tick. Tick bites were going to be an explanation for why all of a sudden you could have people who their whole life could eat red meat or in some cases dairy and not have any problems. Dr. Jeffrey Wilson, an assistant professor of allergy and immunology at UVA, says the tick bite is the sensitizing event. It's this bite that changes your relationship with a sugar called alpha-gal. He says this sugar is present in meat and dairy. All of a sudden, you, you start making a different kind of immune response to the sugar. Dr. Wilson says it's usually the lone star tick that causes this. Holly Gaff, professor of biological sciences at Old Dominion University, says lone star ticks are found in Hampton Roads. The adult females have the white dot, the adult males have dots really close to the bottom of their, of their, of their body. She says symptoms for this red meat allergy won't happen right away. When you eat red meat, you can have either hives, um, difficulty breathing, or even full anaphylaxis um, three to six hours after consuming red meat. Someone who knows this allergy all too well, Charlottesville resident Amy Langford. Early June, I had a, a, a tick, which we removed, and didn't really think anything of it. Langford tells me several weeks later, about three hours after dinner, she started having gastrointestinal issues and would break out in hives. They ran some, some blood work and found that I had the alpha-gal uh, allergy. She had to cut out both meat and dairy. Dr. Wilson says there's no cure, but he says for some people, if they avoid any more tick bites, the allergic response can possibly dwindle over time. He says it's really on an individual basis, and that's why he likes to see patients periodically so they can do a blood test and check antibody levels. He says just based off of the clinics they've done in Charlottesville, there are probably over a thousand people in Virginia who have this. In Portsmouth, Deanna Beteneshi, 10 on your side.